The bottom line on nuclear weapons is that when the president gives the order, it must be followed. There's about four minutes between the order being given and the people responsible for launching nuclear weapons to do so. As president, I will make it clear that the United States will treat cyber attacks just like any other attack. We will be ready with serious political, economic, and military responses. They're voting for peace on planet Earth. Because I know a lot of people in Michigan that are planning to vote for Trump. And um, they're not, they don't necessarily like him that much. And they don't necessarily agree with him. They're not racist and rednecks. Or, they're actually pretty decent people. And so I wanted to sort of, after talking to a number of them, I wanted to sort of, I wanted to write this and Donald Trump came to the Detroit Economic Club and stood there in front of the Ford Motor Executive and said, if you close these factories as you're planning to do in Detroit and build them in Mexico, I'm going to put a 35% tariff on those cars when you send them back and nobody's going to buy them. It was an amazing thing to see. No politician, Republican or Democrat, had ever said anything like that to these executives. And it was music to the ears of people in Michigan. If they vote for Trump, but if they vote for Hillary, it's war. We came, we saw, and we died. <laughs> With her, you'll end up in World War III. I want the Iranians to know that if I'm the president, we will attack Iran. Right now, Senator, for us to control all of the airspace in Syria would require us to go to war against Syria and Russia. The U.S. military has just raised the threat level to DEFCON 2. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton... In Ohio, in Pennsylvania, in Wisconsin, the Brexit states. You live here in Ohio, you know what I'm talking about. Whether Trump means it or not, is kind of irrelevant because he's saying the things to people who are hurting. And it's why every beaten down, nameless, forgotten working stiff who used to be part of what was called the middle class loves Trump. He is the human Molotov cocktail that they've been waiting for. The human hand grenade that they can legally throw into the system that stole their lives from them. And on November 8th, election day, although they lost their jobs, although they've been foreclosed on by the bank, next came the divorce, and now the wife and kids are gone, the car's been repoed, they haven't had a real vacation in years, they're stuck with the shitty Obamacare bronze plan where you can't even get a fucking Percocet. They've essentially lost is still threatening Russia with military action following unconfirmed reports of further hacking. It's like she's not even concerned about the repercussions. Well, of course not, because she's... Really All right, looks like we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. We'll try to get the end back on in a few minutes. Everything they had, except one thing. The one thing that doesn't cost them a cent and is guaranteed to them by the American Constitution, the right to vote. They might be penniless, they might be homeless, they might be fucked over and fucked up, it doesn't matter. Because it's equalized on that day. A millionaire has the same number of votes as the person without a job, one. And there's more of the former middle class than there are in the millionaire class. So on November 8th, the dispossessed will walk into the voting booth, be handed a ballot, close the curtain, and take that level, or felt pen or touch screen, and put a big fucking ass in the box by the name of the man who has threatened to upend and overturn the very system that has ruined their lives. Donald J. Trump. They see that the elite who ruined their lives hate Trump. Corporate America hates Trump. 
Wall Street hates Trump. The career politicians hate Trump. The media hates Trump. After they loved him and created him. And now, thank you, media. The enemy of my enemy is who I'm voting for. Yes, on November 8th, you, Joe Blow, Steve Blow, Bob Blow, Billy Blow, Billy Bob Blow, all the Blow, get to go and blow up the whole goddamn system because it's your right. Trump's election is going to be the biggest fuck you ever recorded in human history. It will feel good.